So when yes, uh, a couple of things here. So uh, the first thing I did was the CTA and link drop, as you can see here. And then I confirmed an investment of time, right? So the second thing I'm doing is I need some, like I'm going to invest time, energy, and effort on your behalf before I even know you so I can give you this awesome thing. People are processing that subconsciously, although they might not think it, it does happen. And then lastly, it's like, okay, confirming the commitment. I'll complete this vid and we can watch it together. Does it sound good? So I'm getting confirmation and it's still permission-based. And it's in the DMs and it's very simple. It's not a book about how good I am or what I do. It's rather just straight to the point. So today we're gonna to talk about building the perfect pipeline. I'm gonna go through uh, exactly how I built and why I built this one. This one's gonna be pretty good for anybody that wants to use it. I'm excited for you to see it. The secret, simple cells. We all know simple cells. And so we wanna stay focused on being very, very simple. When you ever first start building a pipeline, the most important thing we can do is put as little friction as possible into the flow. So we always want to start with the least amount of friction. And what I mean by friction is like, can you book a call from a single message? Probably not. Can you do it for two, maybe three? Yes, you can. So I would start with two or three message sequences or two or three stages. And then as you see people saying no to you, you kind of build a little bit of friction. Maybe you add in a lead magnet, sending them to a video or dropping them some sort of a gift or something cool. And then eventually you add enough friction to where you have the right flow for your business. Everyone's is different. Um, and so today we're gonna to do a case study on a video editor wanting new clients. Now you can use this and just, ex just take out the words video editor and then put whatever it is your category is. So that's where we're gonna focus on. And the first thing we always do is just create a very simple overview of a couple of things. What is our, so like I covered this last week, I'm gonna share it again, just to stay very, very simple here. We wanna set up, what is our goal? Okay, we wanna book calls. Okay, who is our audience? Solution aware business owners wanting to offload their video editing. Now, what is a solution aware business owner? If you were with us this last month, we went through this whole session about um, awareness levels of prospects and where they start and how they get to where they go. And it starts with people being completely unaware, meaning they only care about their own stuff and they don't even know that they have problems yet. And then it moves into problem aware, solution aware, product aware, and then very aware type buyers. And so there's a different level of how you speak to each level of awareness. So one of those things that you want to identify is what a level of awareness. As an example, um, Robert, since you're here and I had a long conversation with you, if for all you guys that don't know, he's the, um, the marriage uh, transformation king. He organizes and puts together weddings and all this other stuff, which is really cool, but his superpower is DJ. And so, for example, if you're going to speak to a, a level of an awareness uh, of those potential people, we're going to couples that are probably engaged. These people know they're going to have a, a wedding. They know they probably need a DJ. So they're going to be product aware or maybe even solution aware where they've actually already started speaking to one or two DJs. You're going to speak to them in a different way than if you're talking to a single guy that's not even thought about getting married yet. So it's just like an idea of how to start and where to go from. And in this particular flow, we're going to um, compact this down into three steps. Every DM conversation goes through these five steps. But if you can smush them, and here's what I mean. The first step is going to be actually an exchange of value and in a single in, uh, first message. And then our next, we're going to have sending a booking link. And then our clear future will be what will be the next step. So we're taking all the steps in the pipeline that should be there and moving them into three. So let's start building some copy, right? The first uh, part of this, as I mentioned, is the engage transition and invite. So for step one, in this particular message, we're going to use this uh, thing called giver's gain. If you've ever been to a BNI meeting uh, locally or in person, giver's gain is very simply giving somebody something first and then expecting or relying on the law of reciprocity, which is a bias that everybody has, and then sharing some immediate value. So in this particular first example that I have here, you can see the first thing is, is I drop a compliment. Every message uh, sequence, if you're going outbound cold, should always be or start with a compliment. Most of the time, if it's a super cold group of people that you're talking to, you want to start with a compliment only and nothing else. In this particular case, it's somebody that's now solution aware. So I've added a few more things into my first message. I've added a simple and an engaging question. Hey, I'm a pro editor, and I was wondering if you'd be open to me rebuilding a video that I saw on your feed 
with a few things that I know that will help you convert. In exchange, now here's the law of reciprocity and setting an expectation from my very first message. In exchange, I'd ask, just ask for a call with you to see if my editing service is something you could benefit on a more consistent basis. Does it sound like a good idea? And now this is great because it's already broken the ice. It's given someone a compliment, but it hasn't been pushy and it's not salesy. Rather, it's going to be an exchange. I'm going to build this kick-ass cool thing for you in exchange. I just want the chance to chat with you, right? So the, the take on the backside should be a little bit less than what the give is. That's the giver's gain mentality. So giving somebody, somebody a, a, like refining or rebuilding a video that they have and making it really awesome is something powerful that they could use as a marketing asset forever. Again, if you're a video editor, right? And then from here, they've got three different ways that they can respond. They can, they can do nothing. They can no reply. So if they don't reply, then we just do a follow-up, right? So spinning this back around your way, should we keep chatting? Very simple way to get it back on the radar screen. If they say no, then we're gonna just change the lead card status to closed or locked and move on to the next card. One thing you always want to remember is there's billions and billions of people with opportunities for you to sell to. If somebody says no, don't take it personally, brush it off your shoulder and move to the next one, right? Some people will, some people won't. So what? Just keep going. And then of course, when they say yes, you have this option to basically go directly into what we call the CTA, which is the call to action. And then now we're actually doing a couple of things. Uh, so I need two things. Please book a call with me in three days from now. So you're giving them explicit instructions on when they need to book with you. And then you would just enter your booking link. And then of course, please drop me the raw file that I can edit and work by magic. I'll complete this vid and we can watch it together on our call. Sound like a plan. Very easy way to get into a call with uh, somebody uh, that might need some video editing services. Okay. So when yes, a couple of things here. So uh, the first thing I did was the CTA and link drop, as you can see here. And then I confirmed an investment of time, right? So the second thing I'm doing is I need some, like I'm going to invest time, energy, and effort on your behalf before I even know you so I can give you this awesome thing. People are processing that subconsciously, although they may not think it, it does happen. And then lastly, it's like, okay, confirming the commitment. I'll complete this vid and we can watch it together. Does it sound good? So I'm getting confirmation and it's still permission-based and it's in the DMs and it's very simple. It's not a book about how good I am or what I do. It's rather just straight to the point. And then from here, uh, the continued nurture, when they say, yeah, yeah, absolutely. In fact, they say that's a good deal. You come back in another day or so and you say, good news. I just finished the edits, decided to chat with you, more to come. And this just reminds them, hey, I'm here, I'm doing work for you and I'm gonna continue to, to connect with you. And then we send a day before reminder. So the day before the call is scheduled, hey, I'm pumped for our call. I think you're gonna love what I built. See you tomorrow. This just adding this one thing, the day before the call reminder message um, boosted our show rates from 75% to 88%. So there was a 13% gain in show rates and that's equated to thousands of dollars on the backside. So just adding that message the day before the call happened is a very, very powerful way um, to put it into your flow. And then of course, once you have the call, then it's like, boom, if they purchase, when they purchase, all, and, and in the pipeline that I'm about to share with you, it's like, boom, here's the next step. This is exactly what we need to do. And then we're done, right? So that would be the flow. This is what the flow actually looks like in a pipeline. I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna walk through it with you because I actually built all the SOPs for this one as well. And of course, I will give you the share code. It will be hyperlinked in the Slack channel for pipeline strategy. So you can just click this button and add this pipeline right to your account. I'll also drop it in the Zoom for those of you that are live with me today. For those of you watching the recording, just go into the Slack channel, grab the, the link and you can download the code. Okay, here's a little bonus that I wanted to share. So now we have this cool pipeline and now we need to fill it. Where do we find the people to fill it, right? So, so a great couple of places to look, and I'm actually going to show this to you live after this, uh, this slide this is the last one here, um, where you could go find a video filming coach, or you could go to a video editing group, or you could go to teachers that teach video editing, or we could go to influencers, or we could even check software groups of other video editing services. And then of course, you've got the course creators who all put videos in all of their courses. This is a great couple of places where you can go and look. Now, 
If you're not a video editor, you can just exchange these first couple of words for whatever it is that you do. And this should give you kind of an idea of how and where to go on social and look for the right people to find, okay? Um, so with that said, go flow chat. Let's just do this real quick and I'll dive into the actual pipeline itself. So here is the outline of the full flow, starting with, you know, we're gonna import people and I'll show you how to do that in just one second here. And then we're gonna qualify them and send them in by, and you just walk them through this whole process all the way from start to finish. Now, for those of you that haven't seen the pipeline, if you hover over any of these little eyes, what you'll find is these are uh, very, very explicit SOPs that show you exactly what to do when a card is sitting in the stage. So when the lead card says this, we left click, we review the conversation. If no reply, we send this message. If no, we change it, just like I said on the slides. And then when yes, you send the other message. So it tells you exactly what to do and how to do it along this whole flow, very, very simple, okay? If you wanna look at the copy that I just actually had in the slide, you can click on Pipeline Builder here and it will come over and it will share all of the messaging that's already ready and set up for this particular, uh, and just hit expand all messages. And you can come down here and you can see that it's got that first message. And the other thing, little update here is we added color in here as well. So now you can see the color in the builder, which is kind of cool. And then we have two messages here with this, the, if they do nothing, they say no, or when they say yes. Um, and you can see on this particular message, enter your booking link. So if I need to update that, I can just hit the pencil button and then this will pop up and I can come in here and I can just put my booking link in and I can hit save and it's done, right? So, so simple, uh, very, very easy to use, right? And on and on and on. Okay, so this is the flow. This is kind of what it looks like. And now I'm just gonna switch back to pipeline view. And then we're gonna go look at where we can actually find some of these people. So if we head over to Facebook, oops. And we'll do it real time. And so the first thing that I mentioned here on this last slide, if you look, was video filming coaches. So who do I mean by this? Well, Sean, there's this girl that I happen to know. Her name is Krista Mayshore, right? She's an influencer. She teaches real estate. Um, and she has this program that teaches video editing, right? And so now I can go look at her particular post. Here it is. She's got 64,000 followers, which probably all need video editing services. So what I could do is I could actually click here on her followers list, says they're unavailable. Okay, see if she has anybody that's following. Okay, cool. So she's got some people that she's following, which also might need some video editing services. And you can see right here, I could just click import and I could bring all of those people. So as I call it Krista Mayshore, just as an example here. Um, follower lists like that, right? Make sure. And then the deal amount that she charges, I know it's 22,000 per deal. And then we could make, uh, we're gonna put them right into the pipeline that we want of choice. So it's this one that I did, right? Where did it go here? So get video editing clients. I'll put them in the imported section. And then I can make these guys pink and I hit start. And so just in a second, I've gone to a video editing coach that I know teaches video editing for realtors. And I now have 26 leads of people that will probably need my video editing services if that's what it is that I was selling. And then of course we would follow the process. You can see now that there's half a million dollars worth of opportunity sitting there with these 26 leads. And then what do I do? Well, I look here and I say, okay, who's my ideal client? I gotta go validate that that's the right person. So in this case, I would click on this Facebook, make sure that she's actually doing videos. Okay, you go to social media marketing, that works. Definitely, she's um, absolutely right in the space. We can go and check and see if she's got any videos on our website as an example. And then if and when she does, she's now qualified. And then we would be ready to send this first message. To do that, you just click this button and it collects whatever message was stored in that stage and it ends up here in the messenger inbox for you. And then all you have to do is right click and hit that button. And then my first message is gonna pop out right here on the point. As soon as this thing loads, there we go. I can right click and I can hit paste. And now you can see, love the recent video you purchased published here on your feed. Chelsea is her first name. I'm a pro editor. You saw that message in the chat. And then I can actually come back and I can hit send. I'm not going to, but I could hit send here. And then I can actually edit or move the prospect into my next stage by doing that. 
And then the system will automatically update her into the next stage of the pipeline. So if I come back here, you can watch Chelsea will automatically move to the next stage as I hit refresh. So you can do it inside of the DM environment, or you can do it directly here from the messages. You see she's now moved over here. And then the timer goes off. And in two days, now I could send the next message or the next follow-up. And if and so you just kind of follow along with exactly what's here in the messages. And that's it. It's that simple. It's very effective. And uh, so that's one place. Okay, so now we can go to video editing groups. We could go to video editing teachers. We could go to course creator groups and so on and so forth. So if, you've, if you need more support on how to do that, um, inside of your product guide, we'll show you all of the importing um, best practices and so on and so forth, how to import and how to get your things set up here. So make sure and use that if you haven't used that yet. And that, my friends, is the flow for today. I'm